what's up friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Pam and today I have another unboxing and first impressions video for you Greenjoy has sent me a really cool little indoor hydroponics kit so let's uh, dig into it so for some reason recently uh, brands are starting to take me seriously and they're offering me things instead of you know period starter kits at the age of nearly 38 and instead I'm actually being offered things that are you know relative to plant people imagine <laughs> okay. I'm in my pajamas because you know I haven't gone outside in a long time so this is the Green Joy Home Grow Box. This is an indoor hydroponic system. It is supposedly intelligent. It's supposed to know what each and every plant inside of its unit knows. Just how much moisture, just how much light, just how much nutrients. We'll find out. I had this thing for about a week and I haven't been able to sit down and open it. So pretty excited to finally get to do that with you guys. Don't judge my MMA pajamas, you bastards. Okay, it's exactly the same box. That's a bit wasteful. Okay. Oh. I swear to God, if I open this box and it's another box. Uh oh. Okay. I may have gotten myself into something I'm gonna need some more coffee for. Get pieces. Oh, Bernie Sanders is texting me. I'm broke, Bernie. So we've got our cultivation instruction and our installation instructions and, and, our, and our product instructions. I think I already have too much ADD for this. Okay, so we've got some little doohickey. All right, these look like the uh, parts that the little plants will nest in. <clears throat> Seems like very recyclable packaging, which I appreciate. Okay, we've got another one of these guys. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Okay, I guess these are the little pots. Board packing. Oh, wow. Oh, this is very big. Uh, my family is not going. You know what? Um, we don't need a toaster oven, right? I'll just move that, it's fine. This must be the bottom. This thing looks like an iron lung for plants. <coughs> I don't have the coronavirus. All right, everything's numbered. Well, I'm an idiot, so I appreciate that. Okay, so we've got some nutrient solution, which looks like a 2018-20. We've got more cords. And then this is the nutrient solution B. Okay, so this is it, this does look like a lot. Um, on the inside of here, you can't really see, but there's a number three, and then you can match it up on the leg also says the number three. Um, I'm guessing that that's how you put these together, but we're going to look at the directions first. Step one, insert columns into the corner of the marked reservoir according to the numbers marked on the component until click can be heard, indicating correct installation. I should probably do this on the floor. Here's the front. I don't get it. Doesn't. Ooh, ooh, I got one side in. Okay, so I figured it out. You basically had to pull the legs 
like diagonal from each other away from each other a little bit just like with a little bit of pressure and it clunked in so that was the problem is I was pulling one leg at a time instead of sort of like the two opposite ones okay so now we are putting these panels in and these are going to hold our little plants okay and that went in nice and easy okay sassy so this is definitely the size of a microwave just so you know <laughs> it's definitely very big but that is fine with me because the more the better for me okay so i've plugged in the unit over here on the side and uh let's give it a go <laughs> that's a bright one let's take a thumbnail of this bright mother So you can hear that this thing definitely makes a little bit of noise. This is probably gonna go in the room that I already have a bunch of plant grow lights and things that whir and buzz and make fan noises and everything anyway. So um, that's definitely not gonna be an issue for me, but um, you know, just so you know, it does make some noise. Okay, let's get to plant in this thing. So the beginning of planting for this little setup is you're going to use this little foam block that they gave you and the blocks do eventually separate once the plants have sprouted and you're ready to put them into the machine. But right now we're just keeping them in this little tray where we're going to pour some water and make sure that the water stays at the level where it's just touching the seeds that I'm going to drop into those little pits in the foam. The directions say that you want to leave the sponge in there to soak until it doesn't float anymore and I found that that took quite a while and eventually it did stop floating as much but I wouldn't say that it ever really entirely stopped floating so just so you know I did leave it to soak overnight um, and this is about as not floaty as I was able to get it so so as for what I will be planting in this Green Joy hydroponics system, I have a few different kinds of basil. I love fresh basil and it will be really nice to have some just in the kitchen to throw into soups and stuff like that. And then I'm going to try and sprout some parsley seeds in here. Those are notoriously difficult to sprout. And then we have lettuce, which is really easy to sprout. So I feel like this will give me a pretty good idea of what this thing can do. I'm also going to plant some Russian kale. That's really fun to just pick off and eat so I'm pretty excited to have this in the kitchen. So it took a while to get this sponge to stop floating like the directions said it should um, but I let it sit overnight just to make sure that I wasn't you know not giving it enough time or whatever but I liked these little tweezers that they included too to drop the seeds in. I may keep using those. Those were kind of nice. So I just sort of went through and planted two pods of each kind of thing and I ended up leaving one row empty because I have some mint seeds on the way from Etsy so I'd like to have some um, different varieties of mint growing in this thing as well so we'll see how it goes guys so I'm gonna let these sit and germinate I will show you guys in the next clip how they're doing in a few days and then we will travel on to part two in a few weeks where I show you whether this system worked for me or not. So no big surprise, but it seems like the lettuce and kale are the first things that are starting to sprout. You can see the kale is starting to split open over here. This is where I left some empty spaces for some mint, which I hope will be here soon. And it looks like we've got some action going. Things are looking a little different in here. I'm gonna top the water off. Actually, I'll probably just swap it out to make sure that it's clean water. Um, and then I'm gonna put it back in the bag and let it finish what it's doing. You can see a little bit of sprouting action happening right there. Don't mind my gardener hands. Very cool. 
It's been about three or four days, I think, and now we've got some germination action. So that's pretty great. So far, so good, guys. So I will see you back in about a month, and I will show you the next steps on this hydroponic system and tell you what I think about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.